Yo, yo, what's up, Breezy Gang? Welcome back to the Breezy Vlogs, guys. So before we get started, if you are new to the channel or anything like that, like, comment, share, subscribe, guys. Do what you guys do best. If you're new, make sure you smash that subscribe button and like this video. Y'all really like this video. It helps out the YouTube algorithm and gets our, our, gets our YouTube videos out there more for more people to see the knowledge that we're dropping. You feel me? But, and if you checked out last video, I talked to y'all about clutch control. In this video, guys, I'm talking to you guys about throttle control, y'all. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. I'm gonna teach y'all about throttle control, why it's necessary, and how to set up your throttle, basically, for you. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> guys, so throttle control is literally the most important thing. Besides that, and, and brake control, it's one of the most important things when it comes to wheeling riding the bike in general you know what I'm saying you can't ride the bike without throttle you know what I'm saying none of that like throttle control is up there with the most important things you know what I'm saying when it, especially when it comes to wheeling it comes down to throttle control and brake control but since we're not talking about brake control we're talking about throttle control this is the most important thing right now guys if you don't have throttle control you might as well not even attempt this don't attempt to wheelie a bike learn your throttle control first guys when I say learn your throttle control how much slack you have in your throttle personally i like minimum to no slack at all you know what i'm saying so guys you have this throttle cable basically and on that's just like a little twisty nut you adjust you twist that basically to adjust the slack in your throttle so twist it out and then you might get more or twist it the other way you might get less or vice versa like that guys like i said i like minimum to no because i like my bike is really responsive. I want it. as soon as I hit it, it, it responds. I don't want it to even a couple or fractures a second off. I don't want it on. So I leave literally minimum to no slack at all. Like you try to touch my throttle and shake it a little bit, it'll barely jiggle. You know what I'm saying some people don't, but personally, I like that because I want my bike to be really, really responsive, guys. Since I set my bike up like that, I expect my bike to be as responsive as I want it and that's where my controls comes in since I want my bike to be as snappy and as responsive as I want it I go off of that so since I know my bike is that responsive it comes down to how much I'm going to give it guys so I don't just go out there whack give it so much throttle like that because then I'm gonna end up on my ass my ass gonna be pink I'm gonna need drawers new pants all that shit that's right So, figure out how much throttle you need to give it to either get the bike moving, keep the bike up, how much throttle it is until now you you end up chasing the wheelie and stuff like that. Figure out how much throttle you need to give it for certain things that you want to do. For different bikes, obviously it's going to be different. My 450, since it's a very, very strong bike, I don't need to give it that much throttle for the bike to come up or to keep it up or anything like that. Smaller bikes, let's say 85 for example, you might have to give, you might have to turn it more. You might have to turn the throttle more than what I have to to keep the bike up because it's a less powerful bike. Same thing goes for all bikes, 85s, 65s, 125s, 250, 254 stroke, 252 strokes, uh, even four wheelers, guys, even four wheelers, motorcycles, uh, pit bikes, super, like everything has a different type of power ratio. Even when it's a, it is, even when it is a 450. A Honda 450 versus a Yamaha 450, everything is different, guys. Yes, it's gonna be very similar, and there's there's guys out there that could just hop on whatever bike and do whatever with no setup. Listen, fuck it, keep the bike how you got it set up. I'll adapt to it. There's a lot of guys that do out that can do that out there. But like I said in my last video, if it's your bike, this is your personal bike, this is your main bike, you want it set up to how you want it to be set up, so you don't have to get used to it. You could just get on your bike, be comfortable and know what your bike's gonna do. Guys, if your throttle is hard to turn or it just doesn't feel as choppy or as smooth, guys, and think about investing in getting a new throttle tube, a new throttle cable, or try just lubing everything up. Lube up your um, throttle cable, guys. Lube that up, it might be some friction or it might be something up there that's just not making everything flow properly. Lube that up. Always go with the tubers option first to see if you can fix it. 
so loop that up that doesn't work guys try changing out your uh your throttle cable if that's still not working try changing out the whole throttle tube i know a lot of stuff can get into your to your throttle grip and into your throttle tube like dirt uh debris dust all that shit, and it just makes it harder to twist the throttle so if you feel like that could be a case try reinvest in everything or just take it apart clean everything out put it back together to see if that helps get all that dust debris dirt and shit out of there um lube everything up make sure it flows perfectly how you want to because there's nothing worse than getting on a wheelie trying to get it and the motherfucker gets stuck in the fucking wide open position then you end up on your back on your ass and then somebody else hits you and then now it's just there's just all this big pile up of bikes crashing into each other it's happened to me guys I mean, it's the worst shit ever so you don't want that and you also don't want to be in the middle of a wheelie and your throttle gets stuck in the closed position and now you're trying to get a gas but it didn't give gas how you wanted it to give gas and then your bike comes down then you're upset like bro what the fuck i was actually in a good wheelie that has happened to me as well guys so go through your throttle and everything make sure it is how you want it to be even when it comes down to grips guys make sure y'all get some comfortable grips i personally like the pro tape or pillow top grips to really saw grip it really easy and stuff like that guys but when it comes down to your throttle control figure out how much throttle you need to get the bike up in the air how much throttle you need to keep the bike up in the air and just do the shit that you want to do regardless if it's a superman if you're scraping if you're one hand and if you're letting shit you know what i'm saying no handing whatever type of trick you're doing figure out how much throttle you need the stuff that you want to do <clears throat> when it also comes to doing tricks make sure that your throttle is in good position make sure everything is cleaned out make sure there's no debris or anything in there make sure everything is looped up make sure just really bro make sure everything is good for you um and if you don't believe me if you want to just test it out for whatever reason ride your bike whatever bike you got and then hop on somebody else's bikes and it'll just it'll automatically feel different regardless if it's the exact same type of bike if you have a YZ450 and then you hop on a CRF450 or, or a KX450, you know what I mean? All throttle positions and shit might be different. So figure out just which one works best for you and basically how you want it done, guys. But without further ado, guys, I want to thank you for, for clicking on these videos, going through the videos, learning some new information about bike life and how it can make your wheeling experience better, guys. When... When I get back on the bikes and stuff, I'll definitely get in depth to, in, in more depth into some of the videos I already made, some of the videos that I'm going to make in future videos and everything like that, just so I can physically show you guys. So I can literally show you guys if you turn this here or if you do it like this, the height, it'll just make everything so much better than me just telling y'all and then y'all trying to wing it for what I'm telling y'all to do. You feel me? There's a whole lot of videos out there on YouTube, uh, Google internet will set you free especially youtube youtube will set you guys free with any type of information that you got so if there's something i didn't cover in this video either drop down in the comments and i'll make a video about it or search it up guys search it up a lot of the shit that i know some of it came from just me searching shit up like how to lube up a throttle tube how to lube up the clutch tube how to adjust the rear brake or your throttle shit like that a lot of shit just comes from me searching it up and you don't know how to do it. So just take the time, type it in. Most of you guys are on your phones or, or shit anyway. So just type it in, figure out what it is that you want, and God's answer will be right there. Like I said, <clears throat> if I didn't cover it in this video, drop it down below and I'll try my hardest to incorporate it into one of the videos as best as I can, guys. So like, comment, share, subscribe. Do what you guys do best. I appreciate you. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you get this video this video a big thumbs up guys i appreciate y'all and i'll see you next video we out